Fine Art, Don Fraser, The Sketch Hunter, by Paul Kite. Subject location, Tweed. The phrase, The Sketch Hunter, was a term used by Robert Henry, an American artist and inspired educator from the early part of the last century, and Don Fraser's muse. Fraser would produce thousands of sketches, hundreds of paintings, hold dozens of solo and group exhibitions, including an invitation to exhibit at an art museum in France for four months. Millions would view his work, albeit anonymously, when they watched the CBC, where he worked for three decades as a scenic painter. Fraser was born in Kirkland Lake, Ontario, in 1921. Later, his family moved to the Muskoka area when Fraser attended high school in Bracebridge. Upon graduation, he received a scholarship to the Ontario College of Art. Fraser's teachers included John Olfson, Yvonne McKay Kauser, Manly MacDonald, and Group of Seven member Franklin Carmichael, who would annoy Fraser with his habit of making marks over his students' work. Fraser won the Governor General Award of Excellence upon graduation. Following college, he taught art, worked as a commercial artist, and accepted private commissions, especially portraits. Sketching was a passion throughout his life. Pen, ink, sepia, charcoal, conte, whatever was at hand to draw, and draw on. Fraser liked sketching rural and urban landscapes, life models at school, and patrons from the inner city pubs like the Paramount and Waverly. He recycled many different materials for sketching, including the inside of his pants pocket once while on the way home on a streetcar. In 1955, Fraser joined the CBC as a scenic artist. At the CBC, he created small and large works recreating Roman walls, forests, valleys, and even reproductions of Emily Carr's work for a show about the famed artist. For three decades, until he retired in 1986, Fraser would paint TV sets by day and teach a life drawing at Northern Secondary School in the evening. He also entertained his fellow CBC colleagues by sketching their portraits during breaks, producing several hundred by the end of his TV career. For many years, he taught at the Madoc Art Center and the Schneider School of Fine Art in nearby Actinolite. Upon retiring, he moved to Madoc, where he and his wife, Catherine, became acquainted with the owner of a local art gallery who persuaded Fraser to let him exhibit his work. He would form friendships with many of the local artists with whom he would travel throughout the region, including Paul Thrain, Lucy Manley, Audrey Ross, and Ron Leonard. In the early 1990s, an art curator from La Rochelle, France, was so impressed by Fraser's work that he invited him to attend and exhibit 70 of his paintings for four months at Le Musée de Nouveau Monde in 1995. Today, Fraser's work is still in demand, and although he would be pleased, it was never of great importance to him. It was simply about making art. Fraser passed away in 2003, finally succumbing to complications from his lifelong battle with diabetes.